What's going on everybody? Chris will flip the world here. Today's video is a little different. I wanted to do a versus challenge. And what I mean by that is Goodwill retail stores versus Goodwill bins, a battle of the ages. We have six bins locations, but we also have probably a hundred Goodwill retail locations. So we're going to spend about two hours and go to as many retail stores as we can, see what we can find. And then we're going to go to the bins for two hours and see what we can find. At the end of the video, we're going to compare, see which one provides the most profit. If that sounds like something you're into, make sure you hit the like button and let's get to it. Stop number one. That's a personal keep. See how much, how much do you love me? Oh my God. How awesome is that? Typically I do not get shoes here because this Goodwill overprices everything. I'm selling a lot of DC lately. Let me see. Stacy found this Monopoly. Mims. 50, 69, 53. Alright. We'll have to count pieces, but. Usually we just come here for toys and stuff but check this out if you are not familiar Stacy loves Raggedy Ann and Andy this is a awesome mirror from 1977 so personal pickup but it's because I love it that store is typically a bust we ended up picking up three items the Raggedy Ann mirror I got that Slimer Halloween costume. It actually has pretty good comps, but that's probably gonna be for personal because I love Ghostbusters. And then the um, limited edition M&M's Monopoly that it looks like it has all the pieces and has pretty awesome comps. Should be able to sell between 45 to $70. So on to the next one, which is like one exit away. I know it looks the same, but this is stop number two. I told you it was right down the street. We will go in here. Usually we find some okay stuff here, but lately they've been raising the price on the shoes. So let's see. Let's see, these are. I mean, I can bust that out. These are the bronze, $14.99. Yeah, I'll at least lift them up. Let's see, I think these were here last time. Yeah, $6.99. And look, looks like they stopped the car with their feet. So Flintstone stop. Ooh, Nike. These ACGs? DRCs. I love it when things aren't priced. Oh, uh, treading's coming off. Not the treading, the, uh, the pleather. Mm. Croc brand. $3.99. No, those are beat again. Man, kids are horrible on shoes. They just destroy them. I see them. Calm down, people. I see the Jordans. Ten bucks. Significant. Roots tears anywhere other than the. All right, we'll pull them. Do you see the white triple white lows? 10 bucks, laces are inside, size 14. Put them in the car for now. Let's see. These are actually volleyball Mizunos, they were here last time. These are DG, is that 9.99? Shell Venture Fives, we'll look them up. You are excused. <laughs> Asics. $12.99. Missing the insult. Oh, please look them up. Let's see what we got here. 
Justin's. Justin 3802s. $12.99. I know some of you watching are probably like, $12.99 is actually a pretty good price. Not for me. Just can't do it. I can't do it. All right, so when you guys weren't looking, I picked up two pair of women's Solomons and then this big pair of Tony Lama boots. Stacy ended up throwing in the cart. So got a nice little thing going to look up once I find a quarter. What I like to do is go through the store, find the stuff, and then go find a corner and sit down and start checking comps on everything. On these vintage AJ Fun and Fitness two and a half pound dumbbells. I mean, just radiating fitness. I love it when the models have, you know, no muscle tone or definition. But anyway, I can't find any comps on it. Made in USA, $3.99, I should pick it up, but I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. I wish I could fit on that big wheel. Pick this up because he has moving eyes. Turns out he is a 2018 Wowie Fingerling Target exclusive. It sells for about $20 to $25. Easy to store, easy to list, always under $2. So definitely picking that up. Oh, it's Peppa. It's Peppa Pig. Hello, my name's Peppa. So looking up these LeBrons, uh, I went to Google first and whenever StockX and GOAT come up, 188, 187, 217, of course these are probably like size 9, size 10, 10 and a half. These are, I want to say 7 and a half, um, but that's definitely a good indicator that there's some money here. So I'm just going to check and make sure there's no rips and that these snags are stuff that I can actually fuzz off, but this might be a really good pickup. All right, we got eight items at stop number two. Total spent was $84. Again, this is why we love mixing in the bins to bring the buy cost down. All right, third and final stop of the day. What's up, ladies? If you want to look like a construction site, I got you right here. Those things are screaming caution. Look at these little 990s, 997s. Adorable, adorable. Are actually not adorable. Those ASICs, those are falling apart. Those would have been cool. Kid shoes, man. That's usually where I hit. Let's see some 97s, I think. And some color block vans. Kid shoes, Jiggly Thrift. Oh, air posits or foam posits. Jesus, kid section's pumping. Up bands. So we got one. Here's the other. I'll look them up and see what the men's shoes are looking like. Those purple ones caught my eye. Under Armour. I don't really like selling Under Armour. Or I don't really sell Under Armour. Got good toes, ten dollars, but these are the classic, and they're my size. So either way, those are going. If I don't sell them, I'll keep them. Oh, I see some finger toes. No, those are weird, and it's a non-brand. Asics, and we got two more pairs of blues. I keep my blue flag hanging on the left side. Yeah, that's the crypt side. Shout out, Snoop. So these Little Max 95s are a go. Those vans are a go. These vans are a go. And they're my size, so they might be a go on my feet. These I'm gonna pass on. These I would love to resell, but our eight-year-old Christian has been asking for gold shoes and these just happen to be his size. So I'm gonna take an L and give these to him. Was that one, two, three, four, five pairs of Vans and Air Max 95s and uh, 997s. Not bad. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. It's day two. We are at the bins. We're going to spend two hours here and see 
what we can find. I think it's a pretty good challenge because a lot of people uh, in the comments are like, oh, I wish I had a Benz there. Uh, I wanna show you that you can win at both retail Goodwills and the Benz, but you know I'm partial to the Benz. But let's get inside and see what they got going on today. that this is our money hey, don't be stupid Chris That up. Ninja Turtle. You can always tell a Ninja Turtle. Come across this impact drill, and then also this just regular drill driver. One battery. Depending on what they charge, these are kind of heavy, but when I pushed it, it turned, so I know this one works. Just don't have the charger. But this is actually pretty decent money. We'll look those up in a second. Golf club. It's a small thing. Oh, there we go. So the cannon lens. It's got the covers on it. I know how to take it off. Oh, this is a cup. Ah! Got he! Sneaky. Sneaky. Might look that up. Turtles. Gotta love the Ninja Turtles. See a boot. Renegade. Never heard of it, but it is nice looking. Let's see if we can find the other one. Typically what people do is right here by the register is where they'll dump stuff that they didn't decide to get because they couldn't find the other one. So a lot of times it sends you on a goose chase, but you never know. And you find some miss me when you're doing it. That's a winner. I see the belt loops are all cut. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'll think about it. So this vintage polo jeans company sweatshirt Looks like we got one here. Different color, but same same design. 30 plus 675, so that gives us a good indication. But that's good. And then I'm kind of just going through everything else right now. Again, those miss me jeans are just miss me. Typically they're gonna tell you what they are. These are JP 535 8 B3. It's kind of a lot for jeans, right? Rhinestone and studs boot cut. So you're looking at 26 plus 17, 31 plus 8, 15 plus 8, 20 plus 8. So even without the missing belt loops, I could probably get 20, 25 bucks on those. Let's go ahead and look up this impact drill just the impact drill will do it's craftsman 19.2 v impact driver craftsman 19.2 v impact driver pre-owned driver alone 169 plus 6 95 plus 9 59 41 65 plus shipping, 85. So yeah, this is definitely a score. And then we'll probably lot it with just the drill driver, just for increased bonus. So the Harley boots, their model number is 91610. It looks like 59 plus shipping, 59 plus shipping, 40 plus shipping, 24 plus shipping, 69 plus shipping, 65. So 
Awesome score on that. Plug this in and see what we got here. This is a Syntec 5-in-1 portable power pack. Yeah. Positive cable is broken. Now I'm sure that's something that's easily fixed, but not something I want to mess with. So it's going back. And on this Canon lens mug, it only sells for about 10 bucks, but I have a buddy who left his job to become what he is passionate about, which is a photographer. So I think I'm gonna get this and give it to him as a congrats on chasing your dream. Shout out, Mark Champion. Two more interesting finds. This first one is this, still with tags. Nike Team 2005. Rose Bowl champion, Texas Longhorns. It's basically a new dead stock, still has the price tag on it. Probably about $20 to $25. And then I found these three Hercules plates. 1997 McDonald's. And surprisingly, they sell for really awesome money. Let me see. 7.24 plus 13.95, 4.99, 15 bucks plus shipping, eight plus fit shipping. Here's a set of four for 39 plus 12 bucks. So I have three. I'm gonna see if I can find one more. 29 for just the Hercules. There's 33 for just Hercules. 20 plus 85 for that one. So plates are gonna be cheap. But I am gonna look and see if I can find some more. I think, as predicted, the bins are gonna come out victorious against the retail pretty sure I just found a hundred dollar bill I remember hustling hooks just posting one of these now obviously I need to look it up but this does have Andy on the bottom and this is the one with the fingers that move so that lets me know that this is an older buzz because I think the Toy Story 4 buzz does not have Andy on the bottom so I'm gonna look it up but I'm pretty sure this is the one that's pretty awesome considering this is a bin that's been picked over multiple times so actually it looks like this isn't the one with the utility belt which is the the one that sells for a lot this is the 2001 but it still looks like it goes for 42 plus shipping 26 plus shipping 39.99 plus shipping so either way for the bins that's a win stacy found this embroidered just your cool base carlos correa jersey he doesn't play for us, so I don't think he's going to next season, but know your market. We sell a crap load of Astro stuff on Marketplace, so that's probably $35, $40 on Marketplace for us. So that was the last row until we have to leave. So going through here, I did find these women's Timberland Norwood mids. This is about $45. And then I'm just gonna go through these. Now I did find some Allen Edmund like loafers. I guess they're called C Form Force Tens. Typically Allen Edmund is a good brand. We'll go ahead and look these up. The value of Allen Edmund has actually dropped over the years, but we will take a look. And as you can see, a lot of these shoes are extremely dirty, especially the Hoka's those books down there but if they're good i like a challenge boom so it looks like these allen edmund force tens are discontinued and if you see right here this first one january 3rd 99 dollars plus shipping sold for 109 99 so this is an amazing score at the bins awesome tread so these don't sell for enough to do the work these have a giant tear in them, multiple tears actually. These have a tear in them. These have a tear and are just beat. And these have a giant hole. So that's the one downside is you get a lot of potential and then you have to go through it and it turns out to be nothing. But 
Stacy did find some more of the classic pros and some black slip-ons. Most popular color van to sell. I found a really awesome Burger King Iraq hat. I uh, don't know if it's worth anything. Gonna look it up. Um, it's just pretty cool that there's a Burger King in Iraq. And then we always sell slides really well, so these are in good condition. That'll be easy to come off. These usually sell for about $24 to $30. So there's only one sold on the Burger King Iraq hat, which I figured. I imagine this is a rare item, but it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. That is insane. I think you mean Hussein. <laughs> so definitely getting that. Great job, Stacey. Back of the house, and what I figured I'd do is I would just lay everything out in the back of the car that's from the retail store. Go over all that, tell you how much we spent, how much I think we can make, and then I'll go ahead and cut, put everything from the bins out, tell you how much we spent and what I think we can make, and then we can compare at the end. So just so you can see the visual, I think it is 14 items we got from retail. We went to three different locations, spent about two hours. As you can see, mostly shoes. Uh, we'll start with the two easy stuff. So we got the Monopoly limited edition M&Ms. I believe we can get about $35 to $40 on this. This is a Target exclusive um, fingerling plush, about $20 to $25. Lots of vans yesterday. So typically these girls' vans with the little zipper in the back, this is going to be about $30 to $35. The Little Max 95s, that's going to be 30 This is the most popular of all vans, the black and white classics. Um, 35 usually on those. These ASIC Gel Venture 5s, this is going to be about $35, $40. These awesome pink checkered, very nice suede, good condition. I'm going to price these at probably $40. Realistically, probably $35 is what they'll sell for, but I'm going to price them a little higher because the suede is just immaculate. Two pairs of women's Salmon, Salomon, Sal, is the L silent? I never know. Um, speed crosses, two different colorways. This should be about 40 bucks each. The LeBron 13 Soldiers, um, again, this is just fuzz that I'm going to be able to go with the um, fabric shaver. But I predict about between 65 and 75 on these. These little No Balance 997s should be able to get about $30 maybe 25 but i'm going to price them again high we've sold these before these go for around 25 dollars um, used we'll clean these up really good these color blocks or the crayola vans in kid sizes usually do well as well so probably 30 35 dollars on these and then again we always get triple white on the nike air force ones people like to buy these and customize them so we should price these probably around 40 to 45 dollars so all in all, I think it's 14 items. Our total spent was right at $140 and some change. And realistically, I think we'll be able to get about $570 once everything sells. So 140 into 550, 570. And that's from the retail stores. And this is everything we got from the bins, 13 total items. So pretty close on the amount of items we got from each. Again, we spent two hours and we'll run over through the non-closed stuff first. So I got these three Hercules 1997 McDonald's plates. Again, uh, a four piece uh, set went for around, I wanna say it was like 40 plus shipping. So I'm gonna try and list these at like $35, but worst case I can sell them individually for at least 20 each based on the comps. I did get those Miss Me's even though the buck or the belt loops have been pulled off. I still think I can get between $25 and $30 for these because this is the only thing wrong with them. And I want to say this is like some kind of actual fashion trend. The brand new dead stock uh, with tags Nike Rose Bowl. This will probably be like $20, $25. Worst case, it's Facebook Marketplace because this is Texas. Someone will pick that up. I think this was when Vince Young is a dramatic game. I've sold these before, the vintage. Uh, polo jeans embroidered sweatshirt so this should be easy 30 35 dollars i took a gamble on the hat because it was cheap i'm gonna list it for 69.99 i know we have one that sold for 69.99 plus shipping i mean i i have no idea i'm gonna list it high and let it fly got the big buzz light year that should be an easy 40 bucks 
Those Timberland Norwoods should be about 40 to 50. Again, these discontinued Allen Edmonds four, Force 10s, uh, I'm gonna list them for 99 because that's what they've been selling for. Again, another pair of the awesome black and white classics. This should be 35. A pair of the black slip-ons, that should be 30. We sell a lot of these slides. Again, that should be 25 to $30. These Harley Davidson riding boots, as you saw earlier while I was at the bins and looked them up, $59.99 plus shipping. And the score of the day is going to be this impact drill and drill um, driver set. The cool thing about it is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but just watch. You saw it turn? That means that this works. That means the battery's chargeable. I should be able to lock these together and get at least $160 plus shipping. So this was the big, big score at the bins today. All in all, the total for everything at the bins was right at $50.87. So right off the bat, we are about $90 less than what we spent at retail. And if everything sells for what I, I predict, we're going to make around $650 to $670. So right about $100 more than what we did at the three retail stores. So in this video, the bins for the wins. And there are some factors that we need to put into play here. So one, we only went to three locations. We didn't go to our favorite store, but sometimes you go into a store and you have a great time and you find awesome stuff and sometimes you don't. That's just the name of the game. Just like we could have gone to the bins this morning and found absolutely nothing. So I feel like those are pretty equal because you never know what you're going to find at retail and you never know what you're going to find at the bins. So those cancel out. And then secondly, retail, you do tend to find, especially if you're looking for, for shoes, a higher quality they're going to need less time to clean they're going to be able to list easier because you're putting very little time so the price up that you pay or the increase in the price is actually worth the less amount of work you have to put into it now if you ask me i'm going to choose the bins every time but i am blessed to have six locations in houston i know some of you don't have a bin store within five hours and what i would say is keep going to your retail stores and then make a once a month road trip to your nearest bin store and just test the waters and see what you can find because $50 into $650 is worth a road trip. Like, share, subscribe, make sure you tell your friends and we will see you guys on the next one.